it's me, Terry, of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Uh, well, today is Labor Day, September the 5th. It's, where it's Labor Day for here in the United States. Anyway, uh, I just thought I would come on today. I wanted to make this little video because the other day when I sent the box to Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet, uh, that is all the backpack buddies and things that I had made during Vlogist, and I had sent the, I, I packaged them up and sent them shipped them off through the post office uh, to Amber for her Garfield make-along. And so when I was there at the post office, I was like, oh, well, I'll check my uh, mailbox that I have at the post office um, to see if, you know, there was junk mail I needed, you know, uh, remove out of it. I wasn't expecting anything in the mail, but, you know, I always want to check it while I'm there to make sure they're you know, I'm not missing anything. So anyway, I checked my mail and there was my mailbox after I dropped the box in the slot. <laughs> um, there was a key in there, a parcel key. And so uh, I was like, oh, that's a surprise, you know, because I wasn't expecting anything. And so I um, went to the parcel box and, and put the key in and opened it up. And there was this box in there, package. And um I was so excited. I was like, "Hold on, I, you know, where's what, who's this? Who, uh, why am I getting something?" You know, I didn't, I wasn't expecting anything. Anyway, the return address said it was from Terilyn, and uh, she is a sweet um, fellow YouTuber and and one of my longtime viewers. And she sent me this wonderful surprise happy mail. I was so excited. And so, uh, now she does have a YouTube channel, so let me go ahead and give you her information. Her YouTube channel is called All Yarned Up, um, and I will link it down below in the description box. But here is her card. She put it in the, in the, um, box also. So here you can check out her information. She has, uh, an Etsy shop. It's called Mrs. Terilyn D., and uh, like I said, she has a YouTube channel and her website is there at the bottom. And it is allyarnedup.org. Okay, so if you're interested here, you can take a screenshot of the, all her information. <laughs> okay, so there, um, let me show you what she sent me. <laughs> okay, so there was a wonderful card in there. It was so sweet. She just uh, told me that, that she had been enjoying watching me through Vlogist. And um, she um, wanted to surprise me with some happy mail. And so she sure did. <laughs> okay, so in the box was some yarn. So let me show you that. There was four skeins of Yarn Bee Urban Chic. And the colorway is called Mint. It's so pretty. I don't think I, I've, I've never used this before. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen it. It's called the, let's see, it is a th number three weight yarn. So it's a sport weight yarn. And there is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, um, 275 yards. Okay. And like I said, it's a number three weight yarn. And so she sent me four skeins of it. It feels really good. It's just acrylic as far as I know. Um, let me look. No, it is 78% acrylic and 22% cotton. Okay. So here's, like I said, she sent me four skeins of it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be making with it. If any of you have used this Urban Chic yarn, Urban Chic by Yarn Bee, uh, let me know what you made with it. I went on to Ravelry and just looked at the, I looked up the yarn and just looked at the projects other people have made. And of course it, it, uh, with the color, the way the colors are in the, um, in the skeins, so there's some darker shades in there. Um, I saw some projects that were knitted and, and they looked really cool the way the pattern um, knitted up. And then I did see a waffle stitch, I think, pattern um, crocheted that looked pretty nice. And so let me know if you've used the Urban Chic yarn and what you've made. Okay, so that yarn was in the box. And then also in the box was this crochet kit. In fact, there was two crochet kits in here. This one is by Cottondale and it is uh, Sophia the Unicorn. So it's a complete kit. It's got the yarn, the safety eyes that I need. It's even got the fiber fill that comes with you know, comes, 
uh, with it and or to be used with it. And then a, it's got a crochet hook in here for it, a darning needle and the instruction sheet. So I haven't opened it yet uh, to look at the yarn. Um, it says acrylic yarn. I'm wondering if it's a sport weight or an, uh, or worsted weight. Let me look. Let me open it right quick. Okay, it looks like it's probably sport weight yarn. The strands are pretty small, so I think it's probably like a DK weight or sport weight yarn. Um, so yeah, pretty colors. <laughs> all the colors you need for all the different pieces. See? <laughs> um, so yeah, and the fiber fill is in here, the instruction sheets, cool. Okay, so thank you so much, Terilyn. I'm definitely going to enjoy making this cute little unicorn. <laughs> okay, um, and then the other crochet kit in here. Let me talk. Let me tell you a little backstory. Um, you know that I've been. I made the Snoopy. In fact, where did I put Snoopy? I put him back there. Oh, there he is. See him? He's right there. <laughs> um, so my aviator Snoopy that I made, uh, she saw that I was working on that. And so I guess that's why she sent me this. But uh, my mom, I had showed her that I was working on Snoopy. And she's like, oh, you need to make, uh, this was like a week or so ago. And she said, oh, you need to make more of the Snoopy characters. And, um, and I told her, well, I do know that there's a Snoopy uh, Peanuts kit um, just like the nativity set kit that I did in the, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer set. And so, uh, I told her, yeah, I guess I should look it up sometime and see if I can find that kit on Amazon or whatever. Well, then I get this package. Uh, I didn't think anything else about it after we had that conversation. But then after we get this package, I know, and open the box, this was in the box. Look. Oh my goodness, it's a Peanuts kit. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe that it was in there after my mom and I had that conversation, you know, about making more of the Peanuts characters. So here they are. Oh my goodness. Now this is, it says, it, I mean, the okay, so in this kit, let's talk about the kit. In the kit, there's two crochet hooks and there's uh, the fiber fill and the yarn, everything, and, and it gets you started by supplying you the, with everything you need to make uh, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and Woodstock. And then see, here's a booklet right here, and this booklet has 12 patterns inside the booklet for all these other characters, okay? So it's these characters. Now, this is what you get the patterns for. So you've got Sally and... Um, um, Pigpen and Lucy and Franklin and this Snoopy, the regular Snoopy, Peppermint Patty. And then you look on this side and it's got Woodstock and Linus and Marcy and Schroeder, Charlie Brown and Aviator Snoopy pattern. Okay. Also, it says that it has a pattern in here to make out of cardstock uh, Snoopy's uh, doghouse. Oh, and on the back it shows you that you, it's also got uh, Schroeder's piano. Anyway, um, now this is worse to what yarn. Most of these kits um, came with with a DK weight yarn. And I know a lot of people, they don't like to use DK weight yarn, so they would use the pattern book, but they would use their own yarn um, for all of them, you know, they didn't use the yarn that came with it. With me, uh, with the Nativity set and the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I used the yarn that came with it, which was DK, and then I just found additional DK or number three weight yarn to complete the rest of them so that it would be um, about the same size, you know. Well, this, like I said, it comes with worsted weight yarn, so I'm assuming these characters are bigger um, I looked in in here to in the pattern book and on the box to see if it says like how big the the finished items are when you make them since you're using worsted weight, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So anyway, um, I was so excited to get this though. I was like, oh my goodness, look what look what's in the box. I was telling my husband because. He went with me uh, to the post office. Well, we had to go to Sam's, and I said, well, let's run by the post office so I can drop that box off. And so he was with me when I opened the box and in the car, and we were like, oh, I was like, look, look. <laughs> so anyway, so this was in the kit. Thank you so much, Terilyn. This is going to be really fun. <laughs> okay, so that's not all that was in the box. Okay, so 
this was in the box and they're little mini gift cards that just says like just for you and um and what else does it say handmade with love and there's like all these different designs and then some of them are just blank little cards and it looks like there's i'm trying to see i don't think there's envelopes i think they're just two different sizes of cards um and i'm assuming on the back side you can write on them um Sorry for the crinkling, but I'll open it up, open it up right quick to see, look at it more closely so I can let you know about them. Oh, okay. So it's a card. You can see it's blank on the inside and you can write on, write on there. Um, so there's this small size and they all say just for you, um, in different colors and handmade with love. Okay. And then there's some little larger size. Oh, there are some envelopes. Okay, so there's some envelopes, but it looks like the envelopes are for the larger size cards, as far as I can tell. Let me see. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> these are the cards, and these are the envelopes to put in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad I opened them to see, uh, look at it more closely. Anyway, these are going to come in very handy to tuck into some gift, you know, when you do uh, give somebody gifts. Okay, so there's that. Also, there was a book in there, crochet book. Now, I've never seen this one before. It's called Cutest Crochet Creations, and it's by Allison North. I don't think, I mean, I don't have this book. I'm thinking maybe she's made some other books. I'm thinking she might be the ones that made, um, one of the other books that I have, the one that Valerie sent me, I can't remember. I'd have to um, investigate that further. But anyway, <laughs> here's the book. And here are some of the projects in there. So cute. Uh, and there's a bear in here. This bear. Look at this bear. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. That'd be the cutest project. So, uh, I'm I'm definitely going to be... I think I'll make that bear first. It just looks really cute. And it looked like it would be really cute to tuck into a... Uh, baby shower, baby shower gift. Of course, you you could use uh, instead of using the safety eyes that are in there, you could um, you know embroidery eyes on there um, for a baby. But they're really cute. Look at this little little doll. Let's see if I can find. Where'd she go? There, right here. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness. These are such cute patterns. Um. There's another doll. That's a, the Cynthia doll, it's called. <laughs> really cute patterns. Like I said, I have never seen this book, um, you know, on Amazon or whatever. I assume you can find it on Amazon. I'll try to find it on Amazon, and I'll link it below in the description box. Here's a fox. <laughs> These are really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a rabbit. Is that right? No, it's a lamb. It says Lucy Lamb. So cute. So thank you so much, Terilyn. <laughs> okay, so that's not all that was in there. So tucked inside this book, she printed, she has a pattern that she's selling, and I believe it's in her Etsy shop. And it's for this crochet cupcake purse or cupcake bag, you know, cupcake purse. And she sent me a copy of her pattern. So I'm definitely going to be making this and trying it out. And I will definitely be showing you what it looks like, you know, worked up. But anyway, she's got several pages in her pattern. Um, like I said, there's that one picture there. And I'm looking to see if there's more pictures in the pattern. No, wait, no. Just the picture on the cover. But then she's got, uh, it's got several pages to it. So very detailed instructions. So I'm really uh, looking forward to making this. I think this would be cute um, um, for, you know, a gift for a little girl or something. Or to work out of like a project bag. It'd be really cute. Now, you know, like to keep your yarn cake inside or something. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to making it. And we'll see how, how big. I don't know if it's got a scale on here to say how big it turns out to be. No. So anyway, I will definitely be working this up and showing it to you. Okay, so um, I thought I saw something. Just a minute. Stitch count here. Maybe a large, uh, like a large size. I thought maybe it was like a little girl's bag. 
Oh no, it's got it's it's it sounds like it's pretty good. It's pretty good size, so it, it'd be great to work out of like a project bag or or you know you could even use it as a gift bag. It'd be really cute, I think. Put like make it and then and then put like the the ingredients to make cupcakes or something. You know, of course you couldn't put the cupcake pan in there, but that would be cute. Like I said, and to put you know a mix mix and. Um, the cupcake cut, like the paper liners and stuff. That would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? Okay, anyway, that is all that was in that package. Oh my goodness, I was so excited and, and I was very, very surprised. She said she wanted to surprise me, and she did, because usually she will contact me and tell me, you know, there's something coming your way, you know, but this time it was definitely a surprise. So thank you so much, Terilyn. So I just wanted to come on here um, on this Labor Day Monday and uh, show you what my happy, what was in my happy mail and um, what else, what am I going to be doing today? My husband's home today. My bro my son ha actually had to work, but my husband's home today. I don't know, she, he said he was going to work in the garage or something. I think I'm going to do a little sew. I didn't do any sewing. Like I said, I was going to do some sewing. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. I, I cut out um, a Notion's bag yeah because I just made a new t uh, project bag and there's some there's some fabric left over a little bit and I was thinking oh well, this would be cute to make a matching notions bat pouch to go with the bag I think that's what I'm thinking on doing so I cut the piece uh, pieces out to make the notion bag to go with that tote bag see how that's going to turn out how I like the size and um so I think I'm going to do that I've got it cut out so I'm going to sew it together and then cut out some more tote bags uh, yeah. And then of course I've got laundry I'm working on. I had a mountain mountain in there. <laughs> so I'm going to do at least a load of laundry, one load of laundry. And, uh, oh, and my, uh, son and daughter-in-law and grandbaby, it, they're coming over for dinner today. So I'm excited about that. My, uh, my husband, <laughs> my husband is going to grill out. Uh, he, we picked up some steaks while we were at, um, Sam's the other day. Um, that was Friday. Yeah, because he was off Friday also. Uh, so anyway, uh, I think we're going to cook those and uh, I'm going to uh, see what I have to throw together. I have, I need to go to the grocery store, but I'm not going to go today. No. <laughs> so I have um, some sweet potato fries. I think I'm going to cook those and I have, um, I think I have some green beans. I know I have stuff for salad. So we'll have a nice dinner and nice visit with the grandbaby. So I'm so excited to be able to see him. And, of course, my son and daughter-in-law as well. So, it'll be nice. Nice nice Labor Day holiday. So, that's what I'm doing today. What are you doing today? If, if it's Labor Day where you're at, if you're in the States, uh, do you have plans for today? Or are you just going to chill and hang out? Or what are you going to do? What are you going to work on crocheting? What are you working on? Uh, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I made another backpack buddy because... Well, no, I didn't put the backpack clip on it. It's just a small amigurumi for the items that I'm making. I'm going to be sending to Crystal of Chronically Crocheting for her Yarn Fairy um, project that she's doing. And so I wanted to make some little items for her. And Fancy Llama, oh, I love her YouTube channel. <laughs> Fancy Llama has two new, two or three new projects that she's released. She's got a fox. I've got to make the fox, but I got to pick out some See, there it is right there, that, or, that uh, orange uh, DK weight yarn. I've got some, so I need to, I'm going to make that. <laughs> and so she also has a baby seal, and I did the baby seal yesterday. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. So easy. So anyway, be looking for that in my next, probably, well, on Thursday, at Thursday's video, and I'll show you them. Uh, but anyway, I made that yesterday, so I may make that fox today. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful Labor Day, and we will see you in a few days in the next video. Bye!